Well, we're up north out in the woods today. Uh, I'm out with Practical Can, undisclosed location. That's pretty nice out today, not too bad. But here's my first target. It looks to be an old, I think that's a rifle casing, but it's a rim fire. No markings on the base. I am guessing that is late 1800s. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do a little looking into this one. I haven't seen a rim fire case like that, though. Yeah, we'll see what else we can find out here. Really, yeah, dug down about four inches. Pulled out an old shotgun head stamp. Another signal. I dug down, pulled out this piece of wood. Broke it open. There's a bullet stuck in the wood. Wondered why I was getting the signal off wood, but that explains it. Other than that, not too much back in here. We found a bottle dump, but it was pretty much from the 40s, 50s. Nothing real old. All right, we're moving on. Obviously, people have been in here detecting before us. We're on a rail bed here, and there's an old double-bladed double axe. There's three more single-blade axes. There's a two-man saw that's broken off on one end, and a whole pile of spikes, spikes and springs, springs, and you name it. There's a couple tree. There's a couple trees like this where uh, whoever was detecting before us piled all their stuff. But what's interesting is a lot of these spikes are little tiny ones. They're about half the size of a regular spike. And from what Ken says, this was a full-size train came back in here. It was for lumbering. Uh, the river is right over the hill. We're thinking there was a rollaway right here for logs during the lumbering days. But we're kind of on our way out of here now. They're all bent, so I don't know if they were used for picking at the logs too, or if, uh, if you got something like this, they were just picking at the logs and going Part of an old stove looks like it probably yeah. came off the train. Probably out of the caboose. Well, we're at a new location now. There's my first target. Not sure what it is. It's rather ornate. Looks like it has some writing on it. I'll clean that up and get back to you. See what it's, if I can read what it says on the back. Yeah, there's my first find. It's got some fancy on it. I think it says ideal across the top. And I believe it says Stover Manufacturing Company. I'm guessing maybe the base of a lamp. Not sure. I'll have to look up that that name, see if I can figure out what it is. Well, here's my next target. Started out a really crappy signal. Once I turned the plug over, it was pretty high tone. It's a weedy. I haven't seen the date on it yet. I'll have to get my scope out and check it out. Let me get back to you. Well, I got a date off it. 1935. Yeah, let's see what else we can find. Well, right in the same hole, bottle cap. I'm thinking that's the junk signal I was getting. It was actually it was uh looks like it might have been below the weedy. I'm not sure. Same hole though. We'll keep going. And here's why you always recheck your holes. A 1935 weedy, then a bottle cap. And now a 1925 Weedy, all out of the same hole. 
Uh, keep digging, see if we can find some silver. And there's the next signal. Another weedy, 1946 on this one. Let's see what else we can find. Well, here's my next find. We happen to know what this is. Those are baseball cleats from probably the 20s or 30s. Definitely from turn of the century. Cool find. All right, we'll move on. The reason we know these are cleats is uh, Ken found some here before in the past. So we'll move on. All right, here's my find of the day. There was a flag mark of this spot. Ken had detected here before and he dug it but he couldn't find it and so he covered the hole back up again and left a flag marking it well i just came over and dug it it's a 1901 indian head penny that made my day so i've done three wheaties in an indian head now Cool. Nice find. I tried to give it back to him. He didn't want it because he couldn't find it the first time. So, All right. Let's see if we can find some old silver now. All right. I had a good squeaker signal here. And I haven't revealed it yet, but that sure as heck looks like silver to me. And after finding Indian heads. Oh, yeah. It's a barber. I'm going to have to water that down. I'll get back to you. Sprayed it down. <coughs> Excuse me. 1916. And it does have a mint mark. It's an S. That is cool. I th I thought I was doing good finding the 1901 Indian head. And then I just top it off a couple minutes later with a barber dime. A little bit worn, but I'll take it. That's cool. It's like a 22-23 signal. Ken has something shiny in the hole. I don't know about it, though. Pop it out of there. Let's see what you got. Let's we'll see. Oh, what the heck? Is, what, what the heck is that? Survey marker pin. That's what it is. Off the top of a survey post. Yeah, but yeah. Oh. So it must have came out of the side of a tree or something. Those are normally pounded in the bottom of trees. Sounded good. It looked good at first. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm out again today with Ken. Uh, this is a first for me. That is a pipe organ reed. Ken's found a number of them out here. But that's the first one I've found. It's a pretty cool item. All right, see what else we can find here. Well, <clears throat> not too far from that other pipe organ reed. Here's another one, a little shorter than the last one. Let's move on, see if we can find something else. Well, Ken just had a, about a 94 signal. And that looks like a silver reeded edge and looks like about quarter size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's reveal. Okay, let me get the filming going here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got it, dude. Look at that. That's a half dollar, isn't it? That's a half. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at wow. that. Wow. I am thrilled. That's a beauty. First, so, well, yeah, first silver with a bank of coins. Yes. Wow. That impression on that side. We'll set this down. Let's see what kind we got here. I'm guessing barber. 
Oh, well, that didn't come out as good. Just because of the time frame. You want some spray? Let me just chunk. Yeah, chunk it off. first. Oh, dude. 1912. I think that's. There we are. Oh, yes. Look at that. 1912. That's in pretty good mm, shape. Dude. Yeah, 1912. Half dollar. Yeah, we're definitely going to clean that wow. one up. That is a bucket lister. Yeah, that is a nice one, man. I'll get out some spray for you. Stop the battery in this There's thing. Ken's half dollar. <clears throat> Beautiful coin. 1912. In really good shape. Wow. That was deep. I'm jealous. I found a Barber Dime yesterday, and I was thrilled. This is the, wow. That's Bucket all I can say is wow. Well, I just got a little surprise. Ken's over there still admiring his Barber Half Dollar he found. And I got silver. It's a war nickel. 1944. And there's a P on the back. Yeah. Nice. It's an afternoon for silver out here. I'm liking that a lot. Not as nice as his half dollar, but I'll take that. Cool. Well, I was hoping for something a little older than that, but <clears throat> just found a memorial. And it's a 1964. So we got a little bit of range in the dates out here. That's probably the most modern coin we've found so far, though. Let's see if we can find something older.